Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington, and here today we've got a video that is kind of special. So we are going to do an overdrive paddle shootout. I've got three different overdrives here. We've got the classic Ibanez Tube Screamer TS9. We have the newer JEHS Series 3 Screamer, which is, you know, their version of this. And then a Blackstar LT Drive, which is kind of like the curveball, because obviously most people are familiar with this pedal. Um, a lot of other brands copied this pedal. This is almost akin to like a Boss SD1, but it's a little bit more like a mix between a distortion and overdrive. However, it's both, and I wanted to see how it would compare. We're running straight into the Schecter, into the PD Butcher here. Right now I have it set up as these are just going to be clean boost. I have this on the low gain setting, so here's just the amp. Just kind of like a snappy clean sound. So no like heavy gain or anything, we'll do that next. So I have every paddle pretty much set up how I will use it as a gain boost, but I wanted to see how it would sound just as a clean boost on a clean channel. So I guess this is kind of like called like the Zach Weil mod, I don't, not mod, but like setting where your volume's all the way up, your tone's all the way up, and your gain's all the way down. There's an exception. The black star, you can't have the gain all the way down because that it just doesn't work. So we'll actually start out with the black star. Next is the JHS, and I will say this has an optional plus gain switch. I have that turned off right now, so it's just the, s the normal setting. And then the classic OG Ibanez Tube Streamer. I can already tell that the Tube Screamer for me might be ahead, um, but let's see where this goes. So we'll keep it on the clean setting first. Let's see how it sounds with gain at a, about a third of the way up. Drive, gain, whatever you want to call it. So again, this is the clean sound. Go to the black star. Alrighty, this is bordering on more of a distortion tone. So this is a drive pedal, it's an overdrive, it's Anyway. I'm actually going to change the tone because it's, it's really bright on this. Because that was almost shrill, having it all the way up. Because if I go to this... That's kind of where the tone is at here on this, so... Hmm. 
<laughs> the hardest part about doing this is actually like turning them on and off. So let's do the gain halfway up. I am going to leave the tone like that because like I said, that was very shrill sounding. Okay, again, whoop, boop, there. Black star. <laughs> Just screamer. versus this are trying to add extra volume where this does a pretty good job of matching the volume that the amp is set up to in here now. Where these are adding a lot. So okay, let's do three quarters of the way up. switch over to running this as a boost on top of a gain sound. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'll run through the this real fast just with uh, the boost, the gain plus on, so. <laughs>
overall, just on this part of the test so far, if I was running this is my main amp and I needed a good distorted sound, this is what I would go with because if I were to adjust the levels a little bit more and stuff, I feel like I'd get a really good just straight, this is a distortion pedal. This seems like a pretty decent boost, but if I want something that is a, just a top end boost, I feel like the Tube Screamer does that perfectly. This just seems like this is an overall boost of everything. This just seems like it just gives that, that little push. Okay, real fast, let's put the gain back on top. I'm just going to run real fast on this. So here's the gain quarter of the way. <laughs> is actually a good blend between these two pedals. So, okay. So let's turn that back off. And turn the drive back down. I'm going to leave, let's kind of try to go back to how we had it set up here. Yeah, I'm going to have to the drive up a little bit. And turn this, that might be too much. Boop. Down, and turn the volume down. I'm going to leave the gain half, pretty much halfway up. So, this is now our new sound. The volume up a little bit. A little bit more volume. A good crunch. Let's use this again. Here, a little bit more gain, because like I said, we had this problem. That, that is shrill, almost on it. Let me turn even the high end of the amp down. same level, I think. This is blending in. They're all blending in a lot better. So, Let's turn the gain on the amp up to three quarters of the way, leave everything the same, and then we'll go back through and add more and more gain on the pedals. So, this is the amp sound. <laughs>
Tube Screamer, I think, is really doing what everyone loves about a Tube Screamer. And it's really coming alive in its own. And maybe that's why it does so well with the volume being more matching the amp than pushing the amp like this, these two do. So. And lastly, let's pull this volume back, or the game back on the amp. But we'll boost it just halfway. Just halfway. And then we'll probably call it a day. And then I'll give my final thoughts. So, this is the sound that we've got. A little bit more gain. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Basically every AO show, this pedal was there. These two are very new and recent. Um, Rob Chapman tried these out years ago and I've been wanting to try one. And then these were all the rage for a little while. And it popped up for a good deal, so I just tried it out. First thought, uh, like I, I, I'm going to go with what I said before. If I was running this clean or just like a clean up, for example, like if I had like a Fender Blues Junior or a Hot Rod or something like that, where it was more on the cleaner side that needed that boost, this would be the pedal I would go for, for my distortion sound. Not for a drive sound, for a distortion sound. This seems like, I said, it's a blend between these two pedals in one, and I feel like it's not really sure what it wants to be, because, well, what it wants to be is an Ibis Tube Screamer Plus, basically, but I feel like it does that, but it, if you go with like the method on how I do mine, where I have the tone of the web, it's really shrill and really top end. Like you have to kind of pull it back. Honestly, there's a reason why the Ibanez Tube Screamer has been kind of like one of the Holy Grail pedals and why these still go for not crazy money, but why they hold the value pretty well. They're a really good pedal. Um, for just a top end clean boost, honestly, I have to give it to the Tube Screamer. I feel bad because the Screamer doesn't have redeeming qualities to me. Like, it's okay. Like, I, you know, I feel like if I played with it more and maybe tried different styles, it might work out better. But for metal and rock, the Tube Screamer seems like a perfect boost pedal. It's not a good distortion pedal. It's not supposed to be. It's an overdrive. And I know a lot of blues guys kind of use these too. But um, I feel like for the music I do, it's, it's the Tube Screamer. If I wanted a distortion pedal, this is a great option. I have a big muff on my pedal board. And I still want to just go with the Tube Screamer. So I'll probably end up just selling these. Because what I was going to do was keep whatever one I like the best. And it's the Tube Screamer. So, let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Did you agree with me? Do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> I'd love to hear it. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you all for taking the time to watch this probably super long video. Jack Pumpkinton signing out. Peace, everyone.